Hello, explorers. Hello. We are just entering the Gulf of Mexico aboard the Princess Sky Cruise Line. So today is a day at sea, and we thought we would take you around and kind of show you what there is to do on this boat and places to eat and stuff like that. Um, I think we're going to do this over the next couple days, though. Mm -hmm. so you'll, we'll, you'll notice our clothes yeah. changing. <laughs> <laughs> so just because this boat is huge, yes. it's got 19 floors, there's mini golf, there's pools, there's sports complexes, there's shows, all kinds of things, and right. shopping. Yep. <laughs> okay, well, without further ado, let's get to it. Yep. There are a total of four pools for use on the Princess Sky. This is the Wakeview pool located at the back of the ship on deck 16. Enjoying it as the sun is setting with a dirty banana. Dirty banana. <laughs> it was always full during the day, so we enjoyed it at night. Luckily, it was heated too. On deck 17 is the retreat pool. This is an adult only pool. It is a lot quieter and great for relaxing. We even noticed people reading while taking a soak. Finally, two main pools are located on deck 16 for everyone to enjoy. We appreciated the ledge on this pool as it was a great place to hang out and stay wet. You can always find hot tubs on deck 16 and 17. They play movies every night yeah, under the stars. We enjoyed one from inside one of the hot tubs. Yeah, yeah. and uh, they, do movies they do that every night apparently. On deck 16 and 17, you can catch live entertainment performed at various times of the day. On deck 16, we found a really cool thing. We had seen it in other videos, but we hadn't been able to find it ourselves. But this is the Skywalk. Skywalk, yeah. The sports area is located on deck 18 and mini golf is on deck 19. Deck 17 has a fully equipped fitness center. They also offer different types of exercise classes. You can stay in shape while you sail so you can sneak a few extra calories. All along the outer decks, there is plenty of outdoor seating for you to enjoy. And if you don't feel like sitting outside, there are plenty of places to enjoy sitting inside. On deck 6, you will find Churchill Smoking Lounge. This is where you can smoke cigars or cigarettes indoors. There are other locations on the ship for smoking as well. You will find many different bars located all over the ship. Vines is a wine bar with many different years from which to choose. Bellini's Bar is located on Deck 5 and was one of our favorite inside bars. It was a great place to enjoy a drink and people watch. Outside on Deck 16 near the Wakeview Pool is the Wakeview Bar. This is probably our favorite outdoor bar. They make the best dirty bananas.
Back on deck five is the International Cafe. This place is open 24 hours a day. Here you can find quick sandwiches, desserts, and gourmet coffee in many different flavors. If you're looking for a little more than sandwiches, Deck 16's World Fresh Market has you covered. There are plenty of different options for you to enjoy breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They even have theme nights for different food. There are plenty of seating options. The Salty Dog Grill is located on Deck 16. They offer hot dogs, hamburgers, chicken sandwiches, and tacos. Don't forget the chili cheese fries. Right next door, pizza is available at the Slice Pizzeria. They offer cheese, pepperoni, and have a slice of the day that changes daily. We really enjoyed this option. For a fancier pizza option, have a seat at Alfredo's Pizza located on Deck 7. You are waited on and can find more options like salads and calzones. You can get different types of pizza here. This is also a free option for you to enjoy. Looking for something more exotic? On Deck 7 is the Ocean Terrace Seafood Bar, which offers a wide variety of sushi. This is available for an additional charge. There are three main dining rooms to enjoy while aboard. These are complimentary restaurants, but be aware that there are two different seating options. You can make reservations or try standby seating. Reservations can fill up before you even embark, so plan accordingly. However, we did standby at all three and were able to get a seat within 20 minutes. CeeLo was the first dining room we experienced. The Soleil dining room was pretty crowded, but we got to meet some new friends. The food was outstanding. Estrella Dining had some of the best food we had on the ship. We enjoyed Escargot and their surf and turf option was amazing. For an additional charge, you can enjoy a French meal at Bistro Silamar or an Italian meal at Sabatini's. The ship also offers gelato for an extra charge on Deck 5 or you can make a trip to Deck 16 for free ice cream at Swirls. There is a lot going on around the ship from educational classes to art galleries. The piazza located on Deck 5 always had some type of dance class or event. On select nights, you can get dressed up and have professional photos taken. The photo gallery to purchase these photos can be found on Deck 6. The sanctuary is a private area that can be rented for half or full days for you to enjoy the outdoors without much commotion. It is located on deck 18 near the adult pool. They also offer hot tubs in this area. For the kids, Camp Discovery and the Beach House has you covered for fun activities to keep them busy. This is a look at an interior cabin. There are four beds. The bottom beds can be pushed together even though they tell you they won't do it. We saved a ton of money booking the interior and spent more of it in ports and on souvenirs. It was a little cramped, but we made it work for seven days. Located on Deck 14 is the Concierge Lounge and the Chapel. You can even get married here. On Deck 6 and 7, you can find the Shops of Princess. 
They sell a range of tax and duty-free items such as liquor, tobacco, snacks, souvenirs, perfumes, jewelry, cosmetics, and gifts. Try your luck at the Princess Casino on Deck 6. There are a lot of events that happen. Deck 6 and 7 holds the Princess Theater. We saw many comedians here, a juggler, and one of our favorite shows on the ship called the Spotlight Bar. On the other side of the ship is the Vista Lounge, also on Deck 7. This place always had some kind of event, bingo or comedian performance. Take 5 is a jazz club and is located on Deck 6. Get many different treatments and massages at the Lotus Spa. This should be booked in advance if you are interested as there is limited slots. It is located on Deck 5 near guest services. The internet cafe will keep you connected to the outside world. You can purchase internet plans before getting on the ship or you can purchase them here. They will even help you get set up if you run into issues connecting. Okay, explorers, I think this is where we're going to leave you. We hope you enjoyed this video of things to do and eat aboard the Princess Sky. As you can tell from this video, there is certainly not a lack of things to do aboard the ship. In fact, with four ports, we barely had time to do anything. It was just go, go, go. Right. The food aboard was fantastic, from the snack bars to the buffets to the restaurants. You will not be disappointed. We enjoyed everything. With that being said, thank you for coming along with us. Keep exploring. And we'll see you in Florida.